In this video, I've got a patient who's got several moles on his face, but there's two of them that particularly annoy him, so I'm going to remove them for him. So I have to draw all around the mold first, and I do that with a pen because when I inject the local anaesthetic, it blanches the area. So this is the local anaesthetic, and the boundaries of the mold can be less obvious. Uh, so that's why the, the, the ink of the pen will tell me the boundaries, as well as the line that I want to make the incision in, because I have to make the incision so that it'll hide in one of his natural skin creases. So uh, make a sterile field. Uh, remove the mold for him. This is a little uh, cautery machine which will stop any little blood vessels before I put some little stitches in the skin. It's best to use stitches that come out when you're doing things on the face because that will give you a better scar. So we use um, uh, non-dissolvable sutures um, to bring the skin edges together uh, which will then be in for five to seven days uh, once the wound is healed and um, then that will give him a little hairline scar which will be he hasn't really got any creases in this area but it will be in a line where he will get a crease one day and hopefully won't be too noticeable um, the one on the chin for the cheek fortunately it's a little bit above his the hairline for his beard so that shouldn't be too obvious uh, and again i've made it in the line of a natural skin crease that he will have um, one day although he hasn't got any creases at the moment and it will just give him a little hairline scar. Similar procedure, cautery to stop any blood vessels and these sutures which are as I say non-dissolvable sutures so that they uh, are removed after five to seven days to give him the best possible scar. So then that will just give him a little hairline scar uh, on his cheek which uh, hopefully will be less noticeable than the um, original mole. That's the finished result. So little tapes to cover the wound and uh, another happy patient.